All right, today we'll be talking about the Topping E30 L30 stack and why you might want them for gaming. Originally, I was gonna make this a review video about these guys, but I will be talking about them for gaming a little bit later anyway. But today I wanna focus on why you might want a stack versus something like a deck amp combo and the benefits between the two and whether a stack is right for you. So let's talk about it. <laughs> Okay, disclaimer, this is going to be more of a gaming perspective review of an audiophile product, not an audiophile review of an audiophile product. So let's just get that out there. Also, these products were sent out to me by Apos Audio, but this won't affect my review in any way, shape, or form. So let's get back to the main content. Now, the first thing we're going to have to address is like the technology and why you would want to get like a new DAC and an amp. You see, your computer actually already has a DAC and an amp built in. That's how it makes sound at all. But it's usually just good enough. They're decent. They're just there to give you good enough sound. If you want more, you're gonna need upgrades. And before we head into upgrades, we need to talk about the chain of like technology so we know how to go about upgrading. You see, your audio is only gonna sound as good as the weakest link in the chain of technology leading from your main sound producing device, so your PC, to you and your headphones. Therefore, the first thing you want to upgrade is your headphones, then your amplifier, then your DAC. Now, assuming you have decent enough headphones, the next upgrade you would make is an amplifier, and that's where the Topping L30 comes in. The Topping L30 is a very competent amplifier, giving you a very clean signal and more power for your headphones if your headphones need that amount of power. Now with this cleaner signal, it essentially eliminates the white noise kind of sound that you hear when nothing's playing, as this white noise actually does play when you're playing audio through it, which kind of like muddies up the sound and kind of covers some details and whatnot. The cleaner signal also means you get less distortion or even no distortion at higher volumes. And when it comes to the L30, it does do a very good job at eliminating distortion at higher volumes while also providing that clean, crisp audio. And if you want to learn more about the L30, I do have a separate review about it, which I will leave a link to in the description as well as in that little corner bit over there. Now, if you're going to take your audio quality a step further, you're going to get a DAC. And that's where the topping E30 comes in, which is part of this ensemble as they go well together. The E30 is a DAC, which is a digital to analog converter. It takes a digital signal and converts it into an analog one so that it can be played into your headphones. And how well this conversion is done will affect the quality of the audio. When it comes to the E30, it does a very good job in transferring this kind of like data and gives you a very detailed sound, giving you more detail than you normally get from just plugging into your PC. And it also gives you a full fuller sound. Now I should note that while this does give you a fuller more detailed sound, I would recommend you get the amplifier first because to fully experience this detailed sound, we need a clean signal to reveal that sound. That's why you would want to get an amp first before getting the deck. So let's just, you know, remember that when you're purchasing. Also, if you want to know more about the E30 deck, I'm going to leave a link in the description to a separate review that I also made for it, as well as a um, little link in the little corner. All right, now that we know what the stack will do for our audio, what does this mean to us as gamers? Well, for competitive gamers, you're going to get cleaner, more precise, accurate audio, which is better for tracking people on the battlefield. For non-competitive gamers, it gives you a more immersive sound, drawing you into the world of the game. And honestly, I suppose that applies to just any kind of gaming category as you're just generally speaking more drawn into the game due to the better quality sound. Now this increased sound quality does come at a cost as the L30 amplifier costs $140 and the E30 DAC is going to cost you $130 and added together before taxes this is $270. Now while $270 seems like a lot of money to be paying in one go you don't have to actually buy the stack in one go you can buy the amp first and then the DAC later. But now that we're talking about this price this also brings up other products within this kind of price range category that essentially do a very similar job. And what I'm talking about are essentially DAC amp combos, which essentially take a DAC and an amp and take them and meld them into one single unit. And there are gaming variants and non-gaming variants out there that are very competent. The difference between them um, being that the gaming ones have an input for a mic usually and the non-gaming ones are just purely for headphones. So let's get into that a little bit. Now a good example in this price range that actually costs less than this stack is Sennheiser's option, which is a gaming option. It is the GSX-1200 Pro, which will cost you $250. And it gives you a DAC and an amp in one piece, as well as 7.1 surround sound audio, and even a slot for a microphone for a microphone control. So you can control the audio of your headphones as well as your microphone separately when you're like trying to adjust your chatting in-game stuff, you know, which is very convenient. And you see, that's the whole point of a DAC amp combo. It's very convenient. It's all in one place. And when it comes to a gaming DAC, 
back cam combo, it also has an extra convenience of having like the mic input, as well as like various other like bells and whistles that gamers might like to hear, such as that surround sound. But now if we look at this $250 price tag, we have to understand that the money isn't fully put into just pure sound and audio quality for your headphones like this stack would, as the costs are now split into the sound quality, as well as the extra bells and whistles it has of surround sound and having you let you know letting you control your microphone volume and whatnot. Because the cost of a DAC amp combo goes into the bells and whistles added features, as well as the sound quality you'll get for your headphones, the sound quality of them will probably not be as good as a stack of the same price, which will focus purely on the sound that goes into your headphones. But sometimes that added convenience outweighs that sound quality. It really depends from person to person, and only you can know which makes more sense for you. For those of you who like um, like this kind of convenience, this makes a lot of sense for you to get a DAC amp combo like this rather than a stack. Like if you really need that microphone control and you you just happen to be really into that surround sound, which I think is a bit overrated, but you know, it's it depends from person to person your experiences, then maybe this, this will make sense for you. But if you don't need that mic control because you can just control it on your own and you're good enough with your um, just your stereo headphones and just using Dolby Atmos, which is built into a lot of games, then maybe the stack might make more sense. That being said, there are DAC amp combos that don't have those bells and whistles and are just purely focused on audio. And they'll essentially cost like similar to the stack, but there are ups and downs, you know. For example, with a stack, you can buy the pieces one at a time and you can upgrade each piece as you go along if you need to. With a DAC amp combo, even for the really good ones, it's all single literally one piece and you'll have to pay all the money in one go. And typically for a really good one, it costs a lot of money. And you can't exactly just rip out the amp or the deck in it to upgrade it down the line. It's all in one piece, so you gotta be real sure about it. Now I gotta be a little bit careful because now we're approaching like, um, audiophile territory. That being said, for us gamers, the reason I'm recommending the E30 and L30 stack is because it's a super solid stack and at the level of quality we're getting from this stack, it's most likely going to be a one and done kind of deal for most of us gamers. And if you ever need an upgrade from this stack, you're not just a gamer anymore. You're also now an audiophile. If you know, you know. But for the most of us who are just gamers and not quite audio audiophiles, this um, this will be enough. Anyway guys, that's pretty much all I got for today. I just want to like get this information out there so you know, you know, what you want and to optimize your setup a little bit better. If you want to buy the Ensemble, I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you want it. And if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, well, you know, just hit the dislike button. I don't mind, that's just how things go. But if you did like the content, you can subscribe for more content and you can hit that notification bell so you know when I'm gonna post next. Anyway guys, this has been a good one and I will see you guys next time.